I'm Jeanette and you're watching Hunting TV and we are here in Savannah, Georgia and we're going on the uh, Ghosts and Gravestones Haunted Ghost Tour for Old Town Trolley. Hi Jeanette, Mike Harris. Hi Mike. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So I heard you had actually written a book about some of the hauntings in Savannah, is that true? Uh, I did. I co-authored a book. It's entitled Historic Haunts of Savannah. Cool. Um, yeah, we go in depth to select about six behind a brick wall down in that basement and they run down the tunnel. Two years later, when the constable comes back, he leads people down into that basement and they finally find the remains of that second young man <laughs> and the claw marks where he had tried so hard to free himself. <laughs> Sorry, I may like that part of the story a little too much. In the house where the Gordons, they would have entertained their guests. Behind me is the family parlor, much less formal but considerably more cozy. And these two rooms, they can be opened up like they are now to support large family gatherings. One of which took place in the late 1980s. It was a wedding, the last family wedding held in the home. It was a very intimate affair. Only a few select guests were invited, one of which was the curator of this museum at the time. Now, after the nuptials were complete, a guest, he walks over to the curator. He says, you know, you've got an extra guest here. The curator replies, well, this is a family wedding. I'm sure they can invite whoever they like. The guest says, no, that's not what I mean. And to the ghost over there, on the couch. The curator spun around to see where the guest was pointing, and there, on that couch, was an almost transparent figure. Yep, right where you're standing. Gray hair pulled up in a bun, wearing a long brown dress. In disbelief, the curator turned back to the guest with his mouth wide open, and when he turned back to the apparition on the couch, she had vanished. I'm not going first. This is also where Nellie would maintain the entire household. From that little desk over there in the corner, she would use the most modern implements of her day to keep everything running smoothly. Today, the home has a lot more modern equipment like computers and cash registers to keep everything on track. But just because the technology has advanced doesn't mean everything works like it should. In fact, it seems as if someone is tampering with the equipment in this home. These hijinks include turning on or off the computers, scrolling out the adding machines, tripping the security alarm, pushing out the cash register drawers, and much, much more. Now many people, they think it's Nellie, still trying to run the house. But the staff of the museum, they think it might be someone else. I inform you that you have incurred your complimentary curse. <laughs> you see, it is considered very bad luck in the South to enter a home through one door and exit through another. <laughs> Consider it your free gift with purchase. <laughs> <laughs> now we are going to go back to the trolley of the doom because if I let you stay off that too long the doom wears off and I'm not okay with that. <laughs> bit of your soul stays behind and that's the problem that the curator has with that collection. He'll go into that room every morning go straight to that case because those pieces will have fallen over. They will have rearranged themselves. They will have jumped shelves. And the ones going down a shelf I don't mind. The ones that go up a shelf they worry me just a bit. Victorian coffin made for a burial at sea. Now, who do you think would fit in here? Whoops. That is true. This was a one size fits all. If you did not fit as you were, we made you fit. Sir, we may have to just cut you in half and put you in two of them. I know some of these look a little like coffins, yeah. just, you know, if somebody knocks, don't knock back. In the early morning hours, they're walking across the deck of that ship tools and tackle scattered all around them. Now he reaches up to him, breaks her industrious young man. The young lady trips over a loose rope and falls backward into the river. Now Henry rushes off to get a rope to toss to her. But they're all coiled. Useless. Henry has no choice but to dive in after her, but by that point... 
<laughs> the water's already soaked her dress and dragged her under, the current taking her out to sea. Now, Henry does eventually marry, but his first wife died the devil's disease, yellow fever. His second wife just up and died of influenza. You see, some men have that effect on women. Just kill them. I don't know where you all came from, but you can find your own way out. I don't believe you all heard me the first time. <laughs> I said you people can go! I do have one last bit of Savannah wisdom to leave you folks with. May you sleep like the dead, but not amongst them just yet. Good night, everybody! Woo